Come on, Danny. Cheer up, dude. Get through. Just start your day with that little case. A brief running walk. It's good for our task, anyway. Uh, Mike, tell me about your hometown. Where does your family live? Well, my family lives in quite a big city. It's a very crowded town. My d father's office is five blocks from our house. Hmm. What about your school? My school's farther, though. It's about a 20-minute walk from my house. The school bus used to pick me up early in the morning every day. So you don't have to walk to school, huh? No, but my school is a lot farther, though. What's your neighborhood like? Well, it's a very nice neighborhood. The surroundings are clean and comfortable. There must be a lot of great facilities, right? Yep, there's a department store in front of my house. The central bank is beside it. The police station is in between the bank and the public park. Um, did you enjoy living there? I don't like crowded places, actually. My family and I used to go and uh, visit my grandparents in the country. What is it like in the country? It's a very quiet place. There's a lake behind my grandparents' house. Um, what do your grandparents do for a living? They're farmers. They have a small barn between their house and the fields. You must have had a very good time there. Yes, do you know what? There's a forest near the house. My uncle used to take me and my father to the forest to hunt. He loaned us his horses. We left early in the morning and returned before dinner time. By the way, do you have any extra lessons today? No, we don't. You don't? Oh, I've got one today, Matt. <laughs> Congratulations, sis. Aww. Have a good time. Hey. Matt? Oh my gosh! What? What's up, Dan? Oh my gosh! I forgot to pick up my math assignment. Oh! I put it in bed in my room. Uh, how come? Why did you do that? Uh, I have to go get it now. Wait for me, please. Stay here. Don't go anywhere. I'll be back soon. Okay guys, again we have seen another drama that uses some simple present tense verbs. Kalimat-kalimat tersebut lebih jauh memberikan informasi tentang things around us. Untuk lebih jauhnya, kita tanya yuk sama Ginger. Back to you Ginger. Okay Adi, well guys, as you know, simple present tense indicates habitual activities and general truth. So we need to know how to apply this form correctly. The pattern we use is... Subject plus verb using S or ES plus object. Look at the example. My uncle speaks three languages. The children play football in the yard every Sunday morning. Well, my family lives in quite a big city. It's a very crowded town. My father's office is five blocks from our house. Well, it's a very nice neighborhood. The surroundings are clean and comfortable. Yep, there's a department store in front of my house. The central bank is beside it. The police station is in between the bank and the public park. It's a very quiet place. There's a lake behind my grandparents' house. They're farmers. They have a small barn between their house and the fields. Oh. Yes, do you know what? There's a forest near the house. Hi guys, I can see you're doing great. Nah, sekarang ada tantangan yang harus kalian pecahkan. You have to correct the simple present forms of the verbs in these sentences. Berikut ada beberapa kalimat yang kata kerjanya masih salah. Jadi tugas kalian untuk membetulkannya, oke? Okay? Well, Ginger akan membawakannya untuk kalian. The time is yours. Are you ready? 
Okay, here's the first sentence. The sun always rise in the east. What is the verb? Good. Rise. Is it already correct? No. It should be rises. Next. My brother and I arrive at school at 8 o'clock every morning. Should we change the verb? Good. The sentence is already correct. Nadine get up at the same time every morning. Are you sure it is the answer? No, it should be get up. Your sisters be older than I am. Wonderful. The verb is supposed to be are. The last one. Sandy go to school library almost every day. The answer is Sandy goes to the school library almost every day. You are brilliant. You can solve all the challenges.